Hello friends! Many people may see country life as quite attractive and even cute because they think it's the place where they can escape the bustle of the city and relax in the leisurely pace of life. But unfortunately, it is only true for the townspeople who have already managed to save up and are looking for a quiet place to live their life. Meanwhile, people who actually do live in the country don't usually have anything to be envious of. The constant lack of work and low income force the villagers to look for better opportunities in the city where they can at least find work, which means that they'll be able to provide for their family. The hero of our story today was no exception. Now, let us get transported to China 20 years ago, which is when this story began. A man named Bao was an ordinary villager who had never been outside of his native village. There he met an attractive girl named Mei Li back in his youth. Their life was no different from thousands of Chinese families. The young couple worked in the field and although it was very hard, they loved each other and believed that together they could do anything. Their love was so strong that the man took up extra work and brought home everything he could earn because he knew that an addition to their family was coming soon. After a little while, Bao and Mei Li became young parents and together they raised a beautiful son named Lu. The family's happiness knew no bounds and it seemed that nothing could destroy a union as strong as theirs. But never say never. When the boy was seven years old, the family's financial situation kept getting worse. They barely had enough money for food, and there was no work in the whole district. After a while, sitting at the dinner table, Bao and Mei Li decided that something had to change. They decided that in order to provide for their family, Bao would leave their small village for a small industrial city where he would be able to find a decent job. They planned that he would save up some money so that the family could also move to the city or he could return to the village with enough money for them to live a normal life. Before leaving, Bao hugged his beloved wife and promised that he would call her every day and would send money whenever possible. Finally, he pulled Mei Li in for one last hug and whispered, Do not despair, my dear. Everything will be fine, I promise. And then he left his native village. The devoted wife had no choice but to diligently wait for news every day and run to the post office in the evenings to take his phone calls the only thing she had left was her beloved son, and she devoted all her free time to him. Mei Li raised him, she educated him, and helped him with everything, never scolding Lu so much that the child would feel unhappy. And slowly, she resigned herself to such life, holding on to the hope that the best was yet to come. Meanwhile, Bao kept his word and called almost every day. He also sent money, thereby taking care of his wife and child. It went on like this for several years, the husband would only come back to his home village once every six months, and even then, he would only stay for a few days. It was the happiest time for his wife and son, because they knew that in that faraway city, their father was doing everything so they wouldn't have to deny themselves anything. But as time went by, the memories of a once happy family began to fade away. Over time, Bao began to call less and less. Mei Li still went to the post office every night to wait for his call, but the phone stayed silent more and more often. And one day, seven years later, her husband disappeared altogether. The poor wife didn't even know what to think. The phone that he once left for communication got no answer, and the woman didn't even know exactly where he worked. Basically, she was left alone with a child in her care. Over time, people began to say that he had met another woman in the city, and that it had happened quite a while ago. But Mei Li didn't believe the rumors. She believed in her husband, she didn't think that he could ever do that to their family. In order to survive, the woman sold fruit in a small shop, which she set up by the road. There was barely enough money to cover the basic needs, but she didn't despair, still waiting for her beloved husband to come back. But the miracle never happened. Her husband didn't return. Lu helped his mother in every possible way, seeing how hard she had to work. Moreover, by that time, their family home had already begun to slowly fall apart because without the handiwork of her husband, Everything began to crumble right in front of them. Lu saw how worried his mother was, but given his age, he didn't know how to help. The only thing he could do was always be supportive of her. And friends, even these problems could be dealt with, but after a while, something happened that Mei Li was so afraid of. One day, an expensive car drove up to their house. Of course, the joy of his wife and son knew no bounds. Finally, Bao would take her and their son with him and they'll be together like before he left. But it would mean that Mei Li was right to wait for him all those years and to believe that he would return despite all her relatives and friends telling her to let go of the past and to live in the present. How wrong they all were. But the woman couldn't have imagined what would happen next. 
Instead of rushing to hug his wife, the man just froze in one place. Mei Li realized that this would be the last time she saw him. He went up to her and said, I'm sorry, I know I'm being awful to you, but I can't do it any other way. I've met someone else. I just stopped loving you, and I already have a child with her. To be honest, I don't see my future with you. Again, I'm very sorry it happened this way. His words came like thunder on a clear day. She imagined all kinds of things, but not this. Or rather, she didn't want to believe it, even though it was obvious for so many other people. But that wasn't all. After talking to Mei Li, Bao approached their 15-year-old son and said bluntly, Lu, I have a business in the city, and I think it would be better if you came with me. You'll get to go to college and be successful. I can provide for you. You can live a comfortable life, the kind of life you won't be able to provide for yourself. So you have to decide now, where and with whom do you want to live? Here with your mother, or in a huge house in the city with me? No one else knows what Mei Li felt at the time, but she definitely couldn't have imagined what her son would choose. Looking at the ground, he glanced uncertainly at his mother, and then turned to his father and said quietly, I want to live in the city. It was these words that were truly shocking for Mei Li. But Lu continued, I'm already an adult, and I have the right to choose my own path. There's definitely no opportunities for me here. Bao just grinned, looking at his wife. That very evening, Lu and Bao left for the city. Needless to say, the woman was devastated. Her thoughts were very dark as she no longer wanted to live, and only the thought of her son stopped her. What if her boy wouldn't get along with his stepmother? Who would he turn to then? What if he were to change his mind? She couldn't believe that he would actually leave her. Mei Li never stopped loving her son, and even tried her best to understand him despite the fact that all her relatives and neighbors said that he had betrayed her. So in one instant, a woman who was once a beloved mother and wife became lonely, without a husband or a son. But despite feeling betrayed, she tried to go on with her life. Working tirelessly, she even ran a small farm. And friends, this could have been the end of this story. But as you probably already understood, it wasn't all as simple as it seemed. Her so-called business wasn't booming, but was rather getting worse until something happened that changed her seemingly pathetic life. One day, Mei Li got a letter with no return address. It was just a white envelope with a delivery address on it. Her hands were trembling as she opened the envelope. Inside was a check for $1,000, signed, I love you. The woman thought it must have been some kind of mistake, and for a very long time, she was even afraid to spend the money. But the next month, another envelope came, and it was exactly the same. From that time on, she got the same envelope every month, with the check for the same amount inside. When money got really tight, Mei Li decided to take a little of that money, and in the spring, she received the following letter. How are you, Mom? I know that you love me, and you must have suffered a lot since I left you. Mom, I love you very much, and I miss you. You should know the real reason why I decided to go with my father. I just wanted to help you. My father gives me money, and I send it to you so you don't have to work so hard. Please take care of yourself. Don't worry about me. I will definitely come home one day. You will always be my mother, and I will never leave you again. I will take you to live with me when I grow up. Needless to say, the poor woman didn't expect anything like this, and burst into tears. But those were tears of joy. After all, in spite of everything, her son did love her, and was even willing to lie just to be able to provide for her. She raised a good man. A few years later, Lou came back and took his beloved mother to his new home where they live to this day. So that's today's story, friends. I don't know if it really happened, but I think that our life can take turns so unexpected that this story may simply be based on thousands and even tens of thousands of people and families. So, friends, what would you do if you were in Lou's position? Would you go to live in the city with your rich dad? Or would you stay in the village with your poor mother? Be sure to let us know in the comment section. You should also subscribe to our Telegram channel, where we post many interesting things every day. That's all for today. Bye.